Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Ask the Expert. My name is Livia and today I would like to share with you some tips that can be helpful when preparing 3D parts in our programming system to Tops Boost. To show you, I have brought two parts that are already cut and bent. In the design, the parts look identical, but in reality, they are different. What is the reason for this? Let's ask Laura. She is responsible for the TrueTops Boost demonstrations in our customer center, so she knows a lot about it. Yeah, this has to do with an important step in the part preparation process. The assignment of the bending tools and the related bend deduction make a difference to the parts here. Okay, thank you. Can you explain us what a bend deduction is? Of course. When components are bent, the material in the bending zone, also called neutral fiber, is somewhat stretched or even plastically extended. Therefore, the actual unfolding of the blank must be shortened again a little before the bending process. This delta is the so-called bend deduction, which must be taken into account for each unfolding. The value depends on the material, so the sheet thickness and the material type the bending radius and the bending angle. We at Trump draw on a large database which has been developed through years of tests using the most common materials and tool combinations. That sounds well established. Does that mean that TrueTops Boost handles the import correctly? In principle, yes. TrueTops Boost automatically assigns bending tools to the part as soon as it finds the attributes, material type and sheet thickness. We have certain setting options for this in the home zone the order management level, and in a text on design, our 3D CAD part. Laura, how do you do that? Can you show us? Of course. First of all, let's look at the options in the home zone. Below the unfolding tab, we can decide how the part has to be unfolded. Here we have the choice between Dean unfolding and according to the bend deduction determined by Trumpf. For this, you can create your own tool lists or process with the Trumpf all tools list. All Trump standard bending tools are included there and provided with the corresponding parameters. And in which case do I work with text on design? As soon as you click on a bending radius, the automatically calculated tool combinations are displayed. These combinations then result in the bend deduction. This can also be changed if necessary. For example, if a different production radius has to be produced. That sounds interesting. Thank you so much, Laura. So what have we learned? Whether you are cutting and bending parts or outsourcing the bending process, it is important to choose the right tool combination in advance. This is because it will determine the correct shortening value that will produce the optimum bending results when bending. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ask the Expert. See you next time.